Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big P here. You know, don't you? You know. Right, straight in then, balls deep. Joshua against Pulev. Is it going to happen? No, we don't know, do we? It looks like they're not so keen on it. And I can understand why, because Pulev could probably end up beating him. And they're not going to want to risk their cash cow, are they? So... It's going to be very interesting to see it unfold. Uh, it's like an onion, isn't it? Unraveling in front of our eyes. I mean, we've already got Usek saying he don't want to step aside with WBO and blah de blah. You know, if he beats Chisora, and you know, it's it's all a bit of a mess, isn't it? Really, and there's one man that's created this mess, Sir Edward. I mean, he keeps telling us he's the number one boxing promoter in world boxing but he can't get these fights on can he he can't put two matches together with a bit of glue he can't do it there's talkers and the smoky bacon walkers Sir Edward I mean the situation we've got now we've got Eddie Earns saying that if Wilder don't fight Fury he should retire well, he's only had one loss Chisora's got nine losses he's pay per view which brings me to, has the bubble burst? Has Eddie's bubble burst? Well, his dad's own bubble's burst, hasn't he? But he filled his boots, didn't he, with that? But getting back to the pay-per-view situation, Frotch Boote was non-pay-per-view 2012. Non-pay-per-view on a Saturday night in a packed-out arena in Nottingham. And we've got Dylan White, who was not fought for a European, and Povetkin, who was 10 years past his best, age 41, punching holes in each other on pay-per-view in back of Eddie's garden. But that's pay-per-view. Uh, am, am, I, am, I, am I with programming? Am I, have I took too many drugs over the years, or is there something just... Am I missing something here? Let me just back that up again. Boutte, 30-0, 24-0, iced against the Cobra coming off at the Super 6 final two time WBC world champion at the time or former fighting for IBF non pay per view Saturday night then we've got Dylan White against Povetkin pay per view Eddie says pay per view models changed yeah because you changed it Eddie didn't you you changed it you're not delivering for Joshua. You're doing your best not to make this undisputed fight. I and mean, we keep your ear in all this, don't we, from Eddie Hearn and Bob Aramar. They want to be undisputed. And Tyson Fury wants to be undisputed. Tyson Fury's not bothered about undisputed, I don't think. He's got all belts now, and he? he's got every belt. Joshua's got his belts by default, but he ain't got the WBC. So at this present moment in time, Tyson Fury is the man. Forget what all the PR stuff that he comes out with and all the lies that he tells and stories. It's just to keep himself out there. He's the man in that ring. No if so buts. He's just playing the game, isn't he? Joshua, Eddie's not delivering for him. He can't even get the pool left fight over the line. Do you know why? Because they don't want that fight, do they? I don't want to hear about... I don't want to hear about this virus and all that. Well, it's virus because too many boxing promoters... They're chatting a load of nonsense at the moment. They're chatting rubbish. It's such a rubbish they're coming out with. They're paying lip service to the fighters. Throwing dates and making posters up and this and that and blah de blah But they're not delivering. And then they've got the get out of jail free card. Well, it's the virus. Look, Dylan White against Povetkin's on for the second time inside three months. That's the middle of the virus. So Joshua Pulev can be made. That can be made. Right, I don't want to hear about it can't be made and all that look it looks to me like they're desperate for the Tyson Fury fight but they want it to be right don't they they want it on their terms but greed plays a big part in this and well, we all know don't we boxing promoters the prostitutes prostitutes they call other people prostitutes but they're prostitutes aren't they it's all about money it's not about fights. They'll tell you one thing. Oh, it's about the fans and we want to we deliver for fans. Look, they're not delivering. 
Frank Warren keeps telling us they want Fury Joshua. Well, make it then. Make it in an arena with no fans and just charge a bit extra on pay-per-view. It's a fight that we all want to see. We're going round in circles with this, aren't we? We're going round in circles. Do they want the fight or not? All I'm seeing is all these fighting men not fighting. What fights are exciting at the moment in British boxing? What fights are we all sat there at home saying, that's a great fight, that. I want to watch that fight. That's a fantastic fight. What fights are they? What? Kelbrook Khan, that's gone, hasn't it? Couldn't even get that off at Lion Eddie Hearn. They're now trying to throw Kel Brook under a bus against Crawford. Well, not a bus, more like a juggernaut. Poor Kel Brook, eh? He's been hung out to dry, hasn't he, by Eddie Hearn? I mean, they can't even get Yard Boatsy on, can they? Yard's just been fighting Dex Spellman. What's all that about? Dex Spellman? Yard needs to be fighting Callum Johnson, Boatsy. What about Jose Burton? He don't get a look in, does he? Jose Burton, bless him. Eh? What are they going to do next? Dig Frank Buglioni up? It's pure AIDS what we're being fed here. All we've got are a load of people putting themselves out on YouTube interviews, spinning lie after lie after lie. I mean, we've even got uh, Umar, IFL Umar, doing interviews with this Lamar Scott, Dean White, Dean Povetkin, Dean Fury, whoever he is, the big black fella that knocks around with Dylan White, right? He's got about 25 aliases. We've got him coming out with, yeah, your brother's got rematch against Povetkin. He said it three times in that interview. Can I get my 22 minutes back of my life watching that last night? Utter garbage. Utter garbage and lies. Dylan White's not fought for a European title. I just can't get it. I can't get it out of my head. I cannot get it out of my head. He has not fought for a European title. But getting back to Eddie Hearn, has Eddie Hearn's bubble burst? Well, boxing's in serious trouble, isn't it? It's in serious trouble at the moment, and I don't want to put a downer on it, but we've got to tell it as, as it is, haven't we? It's struggling. MMA's not struggling, is it? Or Dana White's UFC, whatever they want to call it, men rolling around in the boxer shorts. They're not struggling, are they? So why, why, are, uh, why is boxing struggling? We keep being told fights are going to happen. It's not, it's not happening, is it? It's... Go back on Eddie Hearn's interviews, they're promising us everything. They're paying us lip service, they're not delivering. These cards that are coming out shortly are garbage. We'll go through these as the day progresses, but we've got 30 videos to do now in the next few days, and I'm going to get in front with a few things. We're going to blow a few cobwebs off. I might do a video called The Prostitutes. I'm just thinking who I can put in it. Who do we know we could put in the video? Do we know any promoters? Or we could put in it and we could call it The Prostitutes. Answers on a postcard to porkycorner at mail.com. We're going to have a lot of fun this week. We're going to, uh, we're going to shake it up Snoop Doggy Dog style. That's what we're going to do this week. Shake it up. Shake it up tonight. Alright, so peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep sporting boxing. Thank you very much for subscribing, liking and leaving a comment and sharing it and don't forget to hit that notification button on the channel i've only just noticed what it's what what it's for but then again i couldn't even get into my computer this morning and try the password 20 times rung somebody up they goes press caps lock off so i pressed that off and i've got into it now so we're getting there aren't we we're learning our job we'll be on janet and john book one soon we're only learning to read no oh, peace out. Don't have nightmares. Shout out Johnny Nelson. Stop being a crybaby, Johnny. You groveler.